All right, yo. This is In My Feels with, what, who, are, who are you again? <laughs> my name's Emily. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm J-R-E. Reminder. Okay. Uh, we have a special guest. Yeah. Hi, I'm June. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Dre, big fan. Dre. Emily. June. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you. Heard a lot about you, you know? Yeah, man. June Korean is known for his reaction videos. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your uh, violin covers. And oh, dance covers. you know, I tr- I, I'm oh, classically amazing. trained. Um, I actually performed a couple of times at KCON. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. My favorite video I recorded is mm-hmm. like an old BAP one shot video. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, no, no. introduce uh, yourself. <laughs> uh, my name is June. Uh, I go by June Kurian on YouTube. Yeah. I did violin covers and currently uh, doing uh, solo uh, original music right now. Oh, snap. Mm-hmm. How long have y'all known each other? Uh, we go pretty far back. Do you know when we first met? When did we at first? K-Con. First time we K-Con? met was at K-Con. K-Con. The one you did, hashtag K-pop. Oh yeah, That's when 2013, I first right? met you. Yeah, and I like I drank some of your boba. Yeah, or something like that. Something yeah, like yeah. that. I didn't even know. Or purposefully, or? I, it was for a bit, oh. for a show. Oh. Yeah. And oh. he looked really mad. No, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty mad. He just like <laughs> took my boba, stole it. Right I just took me. it. So y'all have been in the game together, like well, the same amount of time, I would say, right? Kind of, yeah. I think we had like similar YouTube phase, like in the K-pop world. Yeah, like, in that. Cause like before we did, before I did K-pop, I did like mostly like American pop music and stuff, mm-hmm, violent covers. Mm-hmm. But I had like that transition phase into like K-pop covers. I think that's around the time like we kind of, yeah, like grew. Okay. Yeah, when everybody was like doing K-pop covers reactions, I mean people still do it, but right. that's how long it's been. Right. But I feel like we connected more at KCON Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we that's saw right. each other, and we're the only ones that spoke English. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we bonded a lot there. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was a struggle. <laughs> it was really. Why is that? Oh, we were, allowed, <laughs> we're, we're, we're allowed to. We're allowed to say anything on this podcast. Sure, this but what are you gonna say? So <laughs> it's time to spill some tea on Let's Dre. Go. Okay, what's no, up? No, oh kidding, lord. Um, okay. But um, I think the biggest struggle we had, where we bonded as like like just friends, was when we were in the green room. Yeah, and we were stuck. So oh the thing yeah. is, the the Mexico like I it was an amazing experience, right? The fans are very passionate. very passionate, mm-hmm. like super passionate, very to enthusiastic. Yeah. Uh-huh. So security. we Ubered together from the hotel, okay, and we got to the convention. We're like, this should be fine. We could just walk up, yeah. right? We walked up, and I had pink hair at the time, right? I so know. I think that was the that, and he had color. You had color hair I had too. blonde hair. Yeah, he had blonde hair. So there's two guys getting out of a car with blonde hair and pink hair. Oh. We're walking up the stairs, literally, like. The whole crowd outside just like mobbed us. Like we're there, like like pulling at our hair, our backpacks, yeah. everything. Wait, what? They were it was grabbing pretty everything. So they were very passionate, and I really appreciate it. No, it but was, at the same time, it was kind of like a thrilling. It was a thrilling experience. I'll put it That's that way. And then way we were stuck in a green room once. Yeah, and it was upstairs on this parking lot, and there was no way for us to get to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So we had to like hop over some. We had to like hop over like we had to go down like barricades and like yeah go. The opposite, opposite around, like completely underground, around. underneath. Yeah, because like you would have been mobbed if. Yeah, so we had like an hour, ki- like uh, downtime, right? Yeah. So we explored and like we like escaped the passionate. Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> it's escape people. room together. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh wow. Why do you feel like, you know, everyone says that the Latin American uh, K-pop fandom is very and in- like. Very int- like Look, passionate. Like I'm from Miami. It's the Hispanic mm-hmm. blood, you know. Latin, yeah, you know, it's like the Spanish blood. They they just I, I, honestly that was like the first one too. Yeah, that was so the first people one. were like interested. Like everybody's attention was there. Mm-hmm. So I everybody was like excited. Mm-hmm. I like excited to see everybody. Mm-hmm. I think like in different countries, like Southeast Asia, for example, there's a lot of venues or like events that yeah. YouTube influencers and people can go to, right? But in Mexico, I feel like that was really limited at yeah. the time. Yeah. And so KCON was like that one event that all these influencers can finally go to mm-hmm. and like um, like meet their fans in Mexico, right? Mm-hmm. And that being KCON involved with that many K-pop idols and stuff like that, I think it was also why they were very yeah. passionate. It's like a culmination of like what they've been waiting for. Like they, I mean, Mexico doesn't get, like you're saying, much, or Latin America doesn't really get much uh as much as like LA, like a lot of people say LA's crowd is very spoiled yeah. compared yeah. to the United States, like Mexico. Yeah. So there's a lot of passion LA. in one. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Seriously. 
Yeah. But so you, so when you were there, you guys were there together, you were still primarily doing like majority like violin. You've, you, I think I, so I saw you perform. How many times did you perform at this KCON? Like five separate times, I want to say, correct? KCON? Like, like, um, like KCON LA or? Yeah, it was like KCON Rookies. You did, you performed at KCON Oh, this Rookies? year's KCON. This year's yeah. KCON, I performed like uh, KCON Rookies. Uh, no, don't, no, Club KCON. And oh, then yeah. I performed the, the pre show. And then I performed the Hammer Museum. So yes, three times. Three times. But after, like, yeah, after KCON. The, after KCON. Exactly, exactly. So now you've, you've made that sort of transition would you say it's a full-on transition or is it like still in the process um i would say like um yeah it's a full-on transition it Mm -hmm. took a little bit of time i Mm -hmm. mean it started like two years ago Mm -hmm. i did like my first original back in 2017 actually and then i did like one single at a time Mm -hmm. so one single in 2017 one single in 2018 and then this year i dropped an album right so um limbo yeah limbo yes exactly i think it's like a full switch yeah okay it is do you like to be uh still labeled as the you know k-pop violinist or would you rather people to start you know taking you well i mean i think that's like actually one of that's the biggest struggle i had with like the new transition and stuff Mm -hmm. like that is that i had such a distinct image on like public figure like i guess like the public scene Mm -hmm. already that Mm -hmm. it was kind of hard to get out of that shell Mm -hmm. uh whereas like um like if nobody knew me i feel like if i did this album stuff and it did okay like people would be like oh this guy just uh started his own stuff or like this guy debuted or like you know like he is doing his k-pop stuff Mm -hmm. but right now it's kind of still considered like oh june is doing k-pop as a side or like june's Uh. june did a new song like Mm -hmm. like they don't they don't do you, do you get what I mean? No, I got mm-hmm. you. Kind of like hard to explain, but it's kind of hard to like get rid of that show. And I don't want to get rid of it okay. either because I think um definitely I've been like noticing like I've been uh, streaming on Twitch a lot recently mm-hmm. and stuff. And I've like noticed a lot of people come back and they're like, oh, my God, like I was like watching your violin stuff like seven years ago. It makes me feel really old but uh, and stuff. But well, like, same here, but but I, I, I appreciate it because people do remember. And I think especially in like like. We have like the OG original K-pop reaction. Like if I like that's the thing. Like K-pop reaction Can or like reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, we're both old. Yeah, we, we, we have to we have to accept that and move on. Uh-huh. But like, where, whereas we have like that original, right? Like, if you say K-pop reactions or like reaction videos, funny videos, like that kind of stuff, if you say that content, it's Dre. Like hands down, no matter what. Mm. Like anyone can argue. It's been a while. Argue with me from that, but honestly, that's Dre, right? For me, it was kind of like violin k-pop dance covers like that combination like i think that niche yeah, yeah um, was, like i always had that, that was you mm-hmm. so like anybody who listened to k-pop or like enjoyed k-pop and like watched dance covers violin covers may have at least seen like one of my videos at least in passing yeah so i think that's something that's very val- valuable and i don't really want to let go of that either. yeah because it made you you yeah where you're yeah, at today sure. you know yeah and you're talking about how you kind of want to be able to you know Step away from reactions. Yeah, and, branch out. I you mean, know, branch out. I think that's always been our struggle. That's what we relate with. One another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really we well. used to we used to talk a lot about like mm-hmm. like how deep uh, conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but because we want to, you know, pursue other things or other interests, mm-hmm. uh, whatever it be, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, one step at a time. Yeah. I mean, uh, how do we get to where we are with whatever I do, a reaction or a funny video, or him with violin mm-hmm. covers or dance covers? It was a grind. So it's basically like kind of restarting almost. Yeah. 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 It's interesting. So so then at, at KCON, I guess the the different performance, you performed, I think it was three different songs. Mm-hmm. Um, and you had different a different set of dancers each time. Um, how did you choose those dancers? Because I know some two were, one was Ellen and Brian. The other was like a oh, yeah. amalgamation of like different girls who I guess dance really well. Yeah. 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 Um, so actually the four dancers for my, so that was my title song, Switch. Mm-hmm. Um, that one was, um, they filmed, they were in the music video with me. Mm-hmm. So um, they did the official choreo with me in Korea. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, um, they came out from Korea to perform at KCON. And then Ellen and Brian, um, they're also like kind of like uh, my KCON buddies mm. i would say like dre's one you know ellen and brian like i have like a close group of friends like that i feel like i met through kcon and like mm-hmm. we really developed through every single year we grew together every time right mm-hmm. and ellen and brian are definitely one of those guys and i just uh, they're just really good friends of mine mm-hmm. and um obviously they dance very well right yeah, so right, right. Yeah, all right. i had this one song <laughs> admit that didn't have any choreo to it 
and oh. um, I wanted to perform it at KCON. Yeah. And I reached out to do like a collab. So it was their, it was their original choreography. Mm. That we performed oh, together. wow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I remember by the, I think it was, when was it? It was the pre-stage. Mm. I was like, wait a second. And I was like, oh, wait. I, I didn't realize that you were like performing at multiple like parts of KCON, which mm. is really cool that you were able to do that. Um, and I remember <laughs> at the at, at the after party, you were like, oh, like you did, I think you did a version of Boy With Love yeah, yeah, um, yeah. on the violin, but you were like, I haven't done this in like over a year. Yeah. Does it feel weird to pick it up again? Um, no. Or I did mean, it feel weird? Or feel rusty a bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, rusty for sure. Like I don't, I don't practice the violin like as much as mm-hmm. I used to. Like, honestly, like when I started YouTube, I was already not practicing like I used mm-hmm. to, like when I was classically trained, but then... Um, it didn't feel rusty. It felt weird because um, I just have been so far away from it. And actually, like the violin cover stuff is actually like a more personal reason why I don't really do it too much mm-hmm. anymore. So um, it didn't feel weird. I actually really enjoyed it mm-hmm. um, performing it at KCON again. Um, uh, just like seeing the reactions, people really enjoyed it, right? And I enjoyed the experience. Um, kind of gave me back like uh, good old memories because I haven't touched like a violin cover in a mm-hmm. long time. So mm-hmm. me covering like new songs, I literally learned it like two nights before wow. like had to record it like two nights before and send it to the KCON team and then we had to perform it so yeah yeah but it was nice I like I mean I, I'm never gonna like not enjoy playing the violin so mm-hmm. for sure. mm-hmm. I see I mean. so uh, on here I guess we like to ask like kind of deeper questions so that uh the listeners can get like a just a different side of you that you've never uh or that they've never they've never seen before so one of the questions that i think dre and i both really like um is when was the last time you felt insulted or you were insulted felt insulted or <laughs> very i guess the insulted. same thing yeah i have i have, I have two answers to okay. that okay yeah I, i'm thinking about it but like one the semi troll answer to that is I've been called a boomer a lot recently. Oh. No way. On I Twitch. haven't. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't, like, been, I haven't just been on like Twitch on for a while. Media. So the thing is, like, I'm, like, I'm just me as a person, person, like, I kind of, like, distance myself from, like, social media and, like, um, or just, like, in general, like, everything. So I know, I don't really know how things work outside of my little bubble that oh, I created. So you didn't know what they were talking about. So, like, I, no, like, so I don't really, like, know, like, internet lingo as well as I should oh, uh, at my age and stuff like that. So, like, instances where, like, I don't know how to, like, react to certain things, people will be like, okay, boomer. And stuff oh, like that. But I kind of, I kind of accepted it. But it's not, a, like, a real insult, you know, they're, like, no, all, no, no, they're no. all joking, right? So, right. that's kind of, like, my troll answer, but kind of hurts sometimes. I've been so mad. I'm like, oh. hell no, I'm not a boomer. Because I'm 26. We're not, right. Oh, you're we're not, not even that old. No. Yeah, we're not, we're not boomers up. at this no. I'm like the oldest one here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys aren't old. You guys keep saying that. You guys are not. We're still in our 20s, right? Still yeah, 20s. we're still in our 20s. I'm yeah. about to be. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm about to be 30. <laughs> yeah, <you're> getting there. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm 29. I just, yeah, yeah, right, right. I don't look it, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, so what's your second answer? Um, Like, more serious answer, I would probably say, like, um, uh, Where's the violin covers? Um, that kind of stuff. So, like, it I mean, insults you? Like, it's, it's, it's or it's not, like, it doesn't insult me. I would say it bothers me. Okay, a okay. Little more so, like, um, I, I understand why uh, obviously a lot of people are asking that. Whenever I post like a uh, new content or like new posts or anything, there's always like here and there, like, where's the violin covers and stuff like that, right? And, um, like, I understand because obviously they came to watch my content and they followed me because of my content. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So that's where they were first. Um, so that's why they're asking, but for me, it was like a personal reason why I wasn't doing violin covers right then. I couldn't really like ex- explain it every time. Mm. But every time I saw those comments, it kind of bothered me here and there. Oh, so it's not a real insult. Like, I don't think it's more bothersome, I guess. You know. And I don't think I, I don't think I've ever had any instance where I felt insulted mm. to be honest, like with like hate comments or like whatever it is. Like, yeah. I, I don't it think those ever to get to me. Do you get hate comments? Probably yeah. Here and there. Yeah. Here really? There for sure. Yeah. What would it, what would it, like, out of curiosity, and you don't have to revisit it if you yeah. don't want to, but, like, what what is an example of something? Because, like, for, like, you know, if it were Dre, like, and, you know, you, you're reacting to something. Anything. You don't get anything. But well, I, I get stuff, but it's just, I don't like, think it's that The crazy. only hate comments he gets is from my um, second account that he actually doesn't. Oh, wow. 
Oh, all the hate accounts, all, all the dislikes. That's from my that like, first you? dislike. Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> every time, yeah. every time he posts a video, I have notifications on just so I can. Yeah, I, like I bet he Loki is telling the truth. I swear, <laughs> <laughs> he is that one guy. <laughs> Yo, there's always that one guy. But the the thing is, YouTube. I feel like there's always those people. Like at least like a handful of people on YouTube yeah, just yeah, subscribe yeah. to channels just so they can I'll dislike sure. the video. The I mean, I uploaded. call them my angry fans. Angry. They're my fans. They follow me. They watch me. They're just a little angry. Yeah angry at the world okay all right so those are the two those are interesting uh instances i, I can imagine the violin one would like definitely hit hard because it's like okay I'm not trying to do that anymore um and another question this just popped into my head random um do you believe in extraterrestrial life what the f- <laughs> what <laughs> i did not know about this <laughs> well i mean i've been to i've been to area 51 um, have you? We did the Area what? 51 raid. I did the oh, you did not. Naruto run. I did. You did. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> the Naruto run. <laughs> no, I picked it up. Oh, no. Um, uh. Well, I, I kind of like, I kind of like, um, uh, rode along with that, uh, uh, I guess meme, right? Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. um, uh, one of my really close friends in Korea, Chung Up, uh, he's from BAP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe, you met him, right? And then so he's, uh, BAP's like concept was like they're from Mars yeah. or the planet oh, Mato yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So I kind of rolled along with the, the wave because people were like, did you find Chung up at Area 51? Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't even get that, yo. Oh, yeah, that so. makes sense. That does make sense. How was it working with him? Uh, it was really fun. I mean, we're just like similar people personality wise. So we just like uh, get along really well. He seems mm-hmm. mad quiet. Yeah, he's, that's the thing though. Like I'm very reserved. Like um, when I first Same. meet somebody, like I don't say, like if I'm in a group setting and I don't know like two people, I won't say anything. Same. You know, mm-hmm. like I just don't talk um, unless I'm really close to that person. But if similar people are sitting in the same room, then it's okay. Like if everyone's quiet, then I'm like, and then we all get along, then we'll probably talk like for hours. Like Chongo, for example, like music, like whenever we worked on our music together, it was like three hours music, five hours just chatting. Interesting. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. so like, there was more like of us just like bonding and talking and like really like getting personal with like the things we share mm-hmm. rather than um like working on music. I feel like creating a bond actually helps with music and collabs. Yeah, it definitely helped um, a lot. In anything. Mm-hmm. Um, no, he seems, I could tell he's reserved. I mean, yeah, really either reserved. it's like a, also a language barrier too. Oh yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I, true. usually when I <laughs> test somebody, I try to be hype in front of them. So if they could s- send the energy back, he didn't send it back to me. I'm Wait, like, oh, you okay. Test somebody? You yeah, mean? like a club KCON. I'm like, yo, what's up? And then. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay. He kind of has like a small stage fright of like English. Yeah, right? no, like that, like, that, that too. That too. Language barrier. Maybe it's like oh. I was too. <laughs> came on too strong. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see what you mean. I usually I, I do put out my energy, but I usually I'm hella reserved too. Mm. Uh, maybe not yeah. as quiet. I mean, the first time I met him, he stole my boba. So, I mean. Oh, that was just for cameras. Oh, yeah. So did were, did camera? you know they were yeah, filming? Yeah, I'm a little extra huh? more in camera. Did you wait? So was it a planned bit? Oh between hell yeah! Y'all? Yeah, no. Oh, no, no, no. oh <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he, he just walked up and was like, nah. Yeah, okay, I okay. Was in the middle of cake on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's literally what happened. No, um, this is for the the hashtag my cake book. Uh, either that or something else. Yeah, I it, was like some, it was one some, some content he was doing. Yeah, the, yeah. Okay. okay. When uh, and then America was a thing. <laughs> there used to be in that America. Yeah. 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 Okay, newbie. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> okay, <boomer. laughs> I realized. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, you don't have to know about that. It's okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait, um, so you, go ahead, go ahead. I actually don't know what to say. So okay. You go ahead. No, I was gonna ask why. Why did you want to segue into doing Twitch? What about it pulled you in? Well, um, I was doing it. Yeah, because uh, Dre was doing it. <laughs> Dre <laughs> sets examples, you know, and um, he's a great role model. So <laughs> I am not. So I'm reacting to K-pop videos on Twitch, and I was like, mm-hmm. or like watching, you know, and, like crazy. jamming. I'm the only one that does that on Twitch. Yeah, dude. It's you so got weird. your niche. It's you got so your niche. Weird. <laughs> really? I, I thought other people would do. I was like, nobody else did this. I mean, people do like here and there, like watch clips and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, people react. But I'm like, but yeah. But I mean, I, I like I like listening to um, K-pop through Dre's stuff only. That's a oh. lie. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't listen to Spotify or anything. I list. I get my K-pop news from Dre. This is all He's lies. Trolling the I know. Out of you. <laughs> I was like, yo, no. But this is how it always is. Um, Anyone that I bring on. They're okay. just gonna try to roast me. Gonna yeah, roast you. The, the roast of Dre wasn't that a thing? I yeah, think. it was yeah. popular. Yeah, it was pretty popular. For not like, no, nah, he was busy. Oh, I wasn't there, oh, oh, unfortunately. Okay. okay, it went off for something that's like not K-pop related. It was like true, popular. true, true. Yeah, I'm it's stung. literally about my just like, roasting Dre. Yeah, <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, I cried. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. Actually? Yeah, because they were complimenting me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, they switched it up after, like, roasting me. He's like, you know, Trey's a good guy, man. You know, he was there. For, I'm like, wait, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the switch. Oh, yeah, the, like, emotional switch. switch. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that got me. Do you cry easily? Uh, Yeah. I mean, uh, not because of, like, people re- uh, interactions. Uh, when I get emotional, like, watching stuff or, like, when I think on my own. Yeah. Okay. About what's your What's your sign? What's my sign? Like, are you a Zodiac. Virgo? Oh, Aquarius? Are you Aquarius? Am I Aquarius? February? I don't know. February? I don't what know, day bro. in February? 18th? I think yeah, I'm Aquarius. That's the same yeah, birthday as J Hope. Or- oh, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. That's Ever since birthday. I came to LA, that's all they ask. That's what I had to ask. Oh, What's like signs? Sign? Yeah. Oh. I'm just hanging out with like beauty gurus too much, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or they read your tarot cards or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Nah. Okay, so uh so yeah, that is Aquarius. Um I don't know how that if Virgos and Aquarius get along, do they? Oh, they do. The people do they? agree. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> when he's like, yes, they do. Okay. I guess. I don't How know. How do you know this stuff? I know Libras and Aquarius are supposed to get What are you? Well. Libra. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> like what? Uh, wait, so you said you cry easily sometimes, and it's like by being motivated by, by something you're watching. So we have a small activity where um, we want you to think, and we already, you know, we want you to think of a scene in a movie or a show that sticks out to you, whether it makes you cry, whether it's a super romantic scene, whether it's... Uh, he's choosing it, right? You're choosing yeah. it, yeah. What and is so something? so what is a scene so that... And you can tell the listeners here what it is, and then we'll hear you watch it again, so reacting to weird. it. I kind of want to watch it, too. And then you'll say if it made you... Or why it made you emotional. Uh-huh. And hopefully uh, you get emotional in here. Yeah. Actually, um, uh, uh, this movie called Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name, your name. Um, it's a Japanese okay. anime. You gotta watch that. Um, Your name, okay. It's really it was good. Like two, three years ago, uh, okay. it came out. Um, I watched it. I'm, I'm actually really like into like, like the type of movies where it's like kind of, it can be semi unrealistic, but like, I just feel like um Asian drama in general or mm-hmm. like Asian romantic love stories, they just kind of hit you in the feels a lot harder than like mm-hmm. American movies. Mm. Like in my opinion. Yeah. And maybe it's just also my upbringing, right? No, but it was like, written very well. The storytelling was yeah, great. Yeah, the storytelling was really nice. And, and it made noise when it first came out. Yeah. In theaters. Yeah, yeah. Like it made box office like. Yeah, yeah. It was when pretty did it come nice. out? Like three years ago. I didn't know it was two, three, three years ago. Uh, that's oh. that's a while back. Your name. It's, so can you think of a specific scene that you you felt strongly about? Yeah. No. Um. Spoiler, spoiler alert. But um, there's like a scene at the end Um. when... So it's the story's kind of like I can't spoil it to you though. I want you to watch yeah. it. Oh, but I gotta be <laughs> It's okay. Don't it's worry okay. About it. It's okay. <laughs> but um there's like a so it's like kind of the climax of the movie where um like it's about two people. It's a relationship and they're kinda like intertwined like through time. Like they're like mm. not in the same time. But oh. they still feel but each other. But they're connected where they like sometimes switch they sometimes like switch bodies. Oh, but it's weird. between two times, but it's fate because the guy is supposed to save the girl because the girl's town's about to get hit by a meteor. It's oh, so okay. weird. I, I yeah. don't know how you could explain like anime. Yeah, it, it's kind of it's anime really is the hardest thing <laughs> to gotta, explain. You got to watch it. Like, okay. You can't miss like any plot point like mm. to like understand yeah. the fu- understand it fully. So what what exact scene actually? Um, In the end, there's like a like she's like running down like a street trying to like um save the town from getting yeah. hit by a meteor. Okay. She falls over and then like uh they wrote it uh they didn't want to forget each other. Okay. Um so when they met they wrote each other's names in uh so he wrote he was supposed to write his name on her hand so she doesn't forget it, right? And she was supposed to write his her name on his hand. But um when she was writing that name on his hand, uh, their connection got cut off. So he forgot her name <gasps> completely. Oh so but the girl had the right. She thought she had the guy's name okay. on her hand, right? Oh, that is, oh my so God, she I'm falls terrible. over, and then she she realizes I'm like I'm like forgetting his name. I'm forgetting his name. Oh. So she opens the hand, but it doesn't say the name. It just says I love you. Oh. So that that's the scene that, that got like sad. the I'm most. Tearing up. And oh. with the music, with the music, oh, and everything, it's so oh. epic, dude. Oh my God, I'm tearing up because I remember <laughs> you just remind me. I think my my part was when they first kind of meet at that. Weird limbo space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it, I think it cuts off too. Katawara doki or something. That's what they call it. It's like oh, okay. Uh, 
what? Well, maybe that wasn't like the yeah, 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 yeah. No, that that's that's the thing. Yeah, so yeah. it continues from that. So that entire like sequence mm-hmm. is just like really emotional. That is emotional. Yeah. There's actually um. So the band. So there was a one band in Japan that did the entire soundtrack for the movie. Oh, really? Right. So they did the entire OST, and they actually had like a live performance version of it. Mm. That sounds heart wrenching. Is it? So it's not a happy ending. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> you should you should watch it. <laughs> you should watch it. But yeah, he reminded me. And I started tearing. I was like, yo, that was a sad part. Oh. Because he was like struggling. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. And I was like, and it just oh. says I love you. Like, oh, God, that makes my heart break. It oh. does. Gosh. It's so sad. It's like a long distance relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the really long distance relationship. <laughs> Wait, so they, they're in different dimensions, essentially. Like different time. Different times. Like maybe oh. she's like three years back. Or like ten years back, or what is it? So he's know. able to time travel. No, it's it's, it's it's like a weird like it's kind of like um, Freaky Friday kind of uh, concept. Like at one point they got to switch each other's like bodies, and she could see what she he sees or something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's anime. It's weird. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anime is great. Though. It's so hard to explain anime. I swear. Is Naruto like a basic anime to watch? It's yeah. like the one of the pinnacles. I mean, but I haven't. I, I I actually haven't seen like the full thing either. I finally did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I, I, I like. I mean, it started when I was like either a, about a senior in high school or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm age, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Naruto was lit. I mean, yeah, I watched Naruto and Dragon Ball Z and like Dragon or, Ball uh, Z a is another. Dragon Ball Z. Is there like a huge debate that like Naruto versus Dragon Ball Z, which is the better one? Uh, there probably is. I just don't get into it because anime fans are a little bit different. Oh, how so? What's the difference? Anime fans could get crazy. Yeah, they're yeah. getting pretty. I think any too. fandom could get crazy. I think just in general, anyone that's like very has a following. Yeah, I found it though. Oh shit! So how, how are we gonna live, do? Are we gonna live, connect? It's a live concert version of it. Live concert version of the scene. Yeah, so they oh, they have an so orchestra, orchestra and a live band. Scene? <gasps> and I'm gonna get it. teary. Okay, okay. <laughs> they play it. It's pretty intense. <laughs> I've never seen this. So she just fell while running down the street. <laughs> but we can't see subtitles. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so she's saying, stupid, stupid, you're stupid. And so like that. Yes, Jim, please explain why. <laughs> that's the scene. I mean, that's the scene. <laughs> so basically, that's just this, that's the scene. But I, I guess like you have to you, again like you kind of have to get the whole build up. Oh, of that's the movie, true. True. To be okay. honest, uh-huh. I actually I actually don't really feel like that Anything? emotional. Yeah. But yeah. like um. But I felt more emotion when you were explaining it because it triggered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I watched. Because if you remember it, right? Yeah. Then the whole, I, I was like, like, oh no, because mm-hmm. it's the whole build. They build this whole bond together. Yeah. Just from back, and then all of a sudden that happens. Oh. Where they can't be together anymore. So. Yeah. And they don't, or they and they do just forget. They completely together. just forget about each other because because the time intertwined time. Bond has been cut off or something. I don't know. It's would you rather? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oopsies. That's a sign. Would you? <laughs> would you rather, like, have that and then forget, or would you rather have that? Know you're not going to be able to talk to each other ever again, but still have the memory. Ooh. Whoa! Mm. What kind of would you rather <laughs> that's, game is this? <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard one. Yeah, uh, very it's deep. pretty deep. I mean, I think I think I'd rather forget because I know that during the time it'll be hard. Like mm-hmm. during like when I know when I can remember mm-hmm. and I know I'm losing my memory, I think that will be really, really like heart wrenching. Mm-hmm. But once I lose it, like how am I gonna feel anything about it? Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah. then if you do, if you kept that memory, then it's hot, like hurts all the time. Of course, mm. yeah. it's like a wound in your heart the whole time. Uh, yeah, that's hard. I feel like it's one of those things where I it's would like want to forget it. Yeah, you want to forget? It's kind of yeah. like installment payments. You'd rather just get it rid of it in one go then uh. have to suffer with interest for the rest of your life kind of thing wow okay good that's analogy good, that's he's adulting good, that's a pretty good reference right <laughs> yeah sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting yeah I, I don't know but like at the same time it's like you have 
the if you don't forget, you have the perspective. Um, and it I don't like. I guess it's with anything in life, though. Like, would like for example, so this is going to be whatever, like weird, but like so, like my dog passed away like a month and a half ago, mm. and um, I was thinking about it. I was like, would I have like just in this context, would I have rather like have this dog? And then once it passes, completely forget like it was ever in my life, you know, or, you know, having that memory of the dog and keeping its spirit alive in some sort of way, like, is like, which would I rather? Because they're both. I don't know. I don't know. Just, it's interesting because, you know, with like know. dogs, you know, you know, they're going to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like even when I had my dog, he died. Mm -hmm. I watched him die. It was. Mm -hmm. oof. But that's uh, hard. It's oh hard. Gosh. But I still remember the memories. Yeah. Uh, I have yeah. two new puppies though. You Chance know, and Chance Prince. and Prince. Do you have any pets? Uh I uh I currently have a, a mini Australian Shepherd. Okay. Her name's Kira. And then I also had a, a Malti Poo uh two years ago, but he uh, she also passed away too. How did early. she was it old old? She was early, uh, no, she was she was only like four months old. She had like a oh. brain issue like oh, no. from when she was born already. So. Oh no, that's sad. Well, why'd you name your dog Kira? Kira? Yeah. because uh, she's the Goddess of death. Okay. <laughs> <Just wondering. What? laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. A anime talk again. Yes, awesome. Anime talk again. <laughs> it's like these oh. weebs here talking to I each other. Like, <laughs> what in the world? Is it because of death note? No, no, no. Oh, okay. we, just, we just thought of it. Oh, yeah. We're like, that's a cute name. Okay. But no, she's Goddess she's, of death. Huh? She's a brat. But she's a brat. Okay. Yeah, I think I think in context, like obviously, like in this movie context, I'd rather forget. But I think in like the, like a real life scenario, right? Like obviously, it's like cherishing memories of yeah. like loved ones i think is very important yeah, right for sure. right yeah that's true that's true well thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us Promise um june. i guess what what other upcoming projects do you have uh well my name is june um you can it's find true. me on social media at june korean even though i don't really post anything yeah, true. <laughs> in these days uh, but i'm streaming right now because i'm right now i'm not too sure where i want to go and which direction i want to go with my career and stuff so currently i'm just kind of like I'm um, passing by the time interacting with my community and stuff on Twitch. So you guys can check me out there. And you're June Kuryan on Twitch as yeah. well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Smart. Named can everything. you guys do like a joint Twitch stream? Uh, we, I mean, you have to be a partner too. I think. We or like we could. Yeah, we could, but I don't play what he plays. I mm. know <laughs> oh, yeah. we can play a scary game together. I mean. Oh yeah. That's my thing. Or we can just talk. Or that too. Just sure. chatting. What do they call it? Just yeah, yeah. It's just, chatting. just chatting. We yeah. can just roast each other. Mm. Okay. On stream, that would be pretty. Fun. I love how my like fans. I told like, oh, I was supposed to meet up June Kuryan with us one time. <laughs> then my fans <laughs> go to his streams like, hey, Dre was talking mad. <laughs> yeah, they're I'm like, like no. they're like, <laughs> spilling the tea. I was like, no, I just said, I said that you were sick too. Mm, okay. Yeah, I was really sick. I'm sorry about that. No, 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 oh. no problem. Are you feeling better? Yeah, of course. That's why he's here. That's why you're here. It was an excuse. I was actually sick. You were just tired. I was just tired. Yeah, that's. Uh, him, I feel. That's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so you they can find you on Twitch. They can still go to Apple Music or yeah. different platforms to uh, stream your latest album, which is Limbo. Um, but we look forward to seeing what you have coming in the future, and hopefully, uh, you can find. I know what you mean, though. Like, but you're like, you're like, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. So, like, this is what makes the most sense. So, hopefully, you can find that. But thank you, and I'll watch the. What's it called? Your name. Your name. Yeah, your name. No, Kimi no Nawa. Kimi no Nawa. Yeah. yeah. Kimi no Nawa. It should be okay. up if you search your name. Yeah. You can okay. find it like anywhere online. Yeah. Okay. I shall do that. It's a good watch. I shall do that. Well, thank you again for joining us. Yay. Thank you for having thank me. You. Yay. And you guys will continue listening to the podcast or we'll end it right here. So thank you for listening. All right, y'all. This is In My Feels. Bye. Bye. <laughs>